Howdy, partner. Adding calcium to your swimming pool is one of the most important chemicals that is so often overlooked. Today, we're going to tell you why it's important and how to add it. So when we talk about adding calcium, we're not talking about this kind of milk, although if you add enough, you might hit it. What we're talking about is a calcium hardness supplement that we're going to go through here, this chemical blend that they have. Now, calcium is naturally occurring in the water that's in your swimming pool. And what it will do is it will help to stabilize all the chemicals you have and have less variations. But that's not really why you need it, because you can go the whole season or for years and years without adding any calcium, and your water can still be balanced if you're testing it. Where it comes in really important is if your water is calcium deficient and it has a lower level of calcium to where you haven't added it, the water will seek out calcium. And that can come through the equipment that in the filtration system, it can come through a vinyl liner, or most common and importantly, it can come through a plaster finish or the marsite finish that you have in one of these concrete gunite swimming pools. So you do not want that to happen because if it is eating away and sucking calcium out of all your plaster, what that's going to do is going to cause you to more often have to do a major pool renovation marsite job that costs a lot of money. So about once a year, it's a good idea to add some calcium if you need to add it. We'll show you how to test it and tell you if you need to add it. If your calcium gets too high, because what happens is the calcium does not typically go away. It lasts a long time. So this is like once a season type thing. If the calcium gets too high, the only way to really get rid of it is to drain some water and add some more water. So you don't want to over calcify it. But once you add the right amount in, it should stay pretty level for your whole season. Now, the easiest way to test your water for calcium hardness is going to be to take it to a swimming pool testing store, you know, your pinch of penny, your Leslie's, whatever you have, and ask them to test it. But what you can also do is you can test at your house. These are easy test strips that uh, I've honestly never used them before, but they, uh, they test for total hardness. When you talk about total hardness in a pool, that's testing for that calcium level. So what you're going to do is you just dip this strip into the pool for about, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it says, 15. And then you're gonna hold it up and you're gonna see how it compares to the different elements. So what you'll see is that total hardness is sort of a bluish purple, which means that it is a little bit low. So we're gonna go ahead and add some calcium to this to make sure that we stay at the right level. Okay, so once you bought your calcium, now this is gonna be a granular calcium hardness. If you have a small pool, they do sell liquid versions that are also pretty easy. But um, for a larger pool, you need this. And it'll have instructions on the back to tell you how much to add. If you didn't go to a store and get them to tell you, you can read the back and figure it out based on your numbers. So this is, uh, this stuff's, uh, you know, pretty caustic type stuff. It gets really hot when it mixes with water. It has a chemical reaction. So you may want to wear gloves or protective safety equipment. But what you're going to do, it's nothing really to be scared of, is you're going to take some water into a bucket and then you're going to need some sort of measuring device. These measuring cups have a two pound stabilizer or calcium hardness line on there. So you can only add, according to this product, about 10 pounds per day to a 10,000 gallon pool. So you want to make sure you're not adding all in one foul swoop. We'll only add 10, 000, or 10 pounds to this 35,000 gallon pool and we'll do it over the next three days or so. So once you've done that, you're measured out to your two pounds of hardness. So I know that that's gonna go. And then if I check the temperature on this water I just took out, it's 88 degrees, pretty warm water. But you're gonna add this hardener in there and then you're gonna need to stir it a little bit. And it's going to immediately, if you take a look at it, it's gonna start heating up pretty quick. So you don't want to drop that calcium straight down to the bottom because it can damage your surfaces, but you want it to kind of dissolve into your bucket. So be careful not to splash it on yourself. It's not going to hurt you immediately, but I want to go swimming right after this. All right, so that's pretty dissolved. We check with the temperature again. We went from 88, so now we're at 92, 93, and it'll keep heating up as it goes there. You can feel the heat from the side of the bucket. So. Then you're going to go ahead and just add that calcium. To your swimming pool. We're going to repeat that a few times until we go through our calcium and that once a year process will help us to have a marsite or plaster finish that's going to last for years and years and years. Hope this video is helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more pool videos. This is one of, those, one of those chemicals that you can really overlook it for a while, but you're going to pay for it in the long run. So to protect 
all your finishes to protect the grout lines and your tile on the top to all that stuff strongly encourage you look into some calcium adding again hope this was helpful remember all these projects if i can do it you can too